this is a list of respected blacks who have been victimized by being called black anti-Semites. And it spans the religious and political spectra. We'll start with Elijah Muhammad. That man never said one negative word about Jewish people. You know what he did say? We need to have an economic program. That made him anti-Semitic. Because if you're going to have some black economics, somebody going out of business. And when you have black men and women teaching that we should buy from our own, support our own, well, when you buy from your own, support your own, in the days when the Jews had businesses all in our community, you'd be taking money from them. Now you'd be taking it from Arabs, Koreans, and others. Everybody getting fat off of us. But guess what? Booker T. Washington, W.E.B. Du Bois, Marcus Garvey. Maybe you don't know them. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Malcolm X. Before I became the leading black anti-Semite, did you know that Brother Malcolm had the title? He, he was one of my teachers. Julian Bond, Kwame Toure, Stokely Carmichael, Andrew Young, former president of, of the uh, NAACP, Kwesi and Fume, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Joseph Lowry, SNCC, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, the Black Panthers were called anti-Semitic yesterday, and the, black, the new Black Panther Party is called anti-Semitic today. The Universal Negro Improvement Association, Brother Marcus Garvey's movement, they were called anti-Semitic, Nation of Islam, but now let's go overseas, Mahatma Gandhi. Yes! Nelson Mandela, Bishop Desmond Tutu. I'm, 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 I'm in a good list of top people here. <laughs> Scholars, John Hope Franklin, J.A. Rogers, James Baldwin, Richard Wright, Julius Lester, Alice Walker, among entertainers, Michael Jackson, Spike Lee, Ice Cube, Arsenio Hall, Muhammad Ali, Public Enemy, and they even call Oprah. 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 Now, you see, whenever a black person looks like they're going to step out of line a little bit, hit them with that anti-Semitism. They get right back in line. But guess what? They didn't stop there. Harry Truman, president. John F. Kennedy. Richard Nixon. Jimmy Carter. Gerald Ford. George H. W. Bush. And now they call our dear, beloved brother, Barack Obama, an anti-Semite. Now what the hell does he have in common with me? I'm on the bottom rung of the anti-Semite ladder. He's at the top. Well, who the hell else is in between? That's you. My God, I mean, are all of us anti-Semitic? That's why we are ready to go before the world and show that they're not, there are Semitic Jews. Yes, there are Semitic Jews. The Sephardim, 
They're Semitic Jews. The Falashas, they're Semitic Jews. But the Ashkenazi are European Jews. And guess what? Two weeks ago, I read in the paper that the Ashkenazi Jews had a school and the Sephardic Jews wanted to educate their children in that school and this Ashkenazi Jews said no, they will not go to school with a Sephardic Jew. See, these are the real anti-Semites now. Oh, I'm a little, a little bit more. Did you know that Martin Luther King had a little Jewish problem? No, not our brother. Yeah, quoting him. When we were working in Chicago, we had numerous rent strikes on the west side, and it was unfortunately true that in most instances, the persons we had to conduct these strikes against were Jewish landlords. We were living in a slum apartment owned by a Jew and a number of others, and we had to have a rent strike. We were paying $94 for four rundown, shabby rooms. And we would go out on our open housing marches on Gage Park and other places, and we discovered that whites with five sanitary, nice, new rooms, apartments with five rooms, were paying only $78 a month. We were paying 20% tax. The Negro ends up paying a color tax, and this has happened in instances where Negroes actually confronted Jews as the landlord or the storekeeper. So you can imagine when he said something like this, he was an anti-Semite. And you notice, a man wrote me this week after the, this, the uh, story came out. He said, Farrakhan, you say we owe you? We don't owe you nothing. You owe us. He said, I'm sending you the bill for us Jews that started the NAACP and the money that we spent organizing you people's marches for justice and jobs, which you don't have now and never did have. Damn, I mean, look at that guard. He gonna send me the bill.